Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss Azure Application Gateway and Web Policies. So, let's first understand the concept in detail that is why we are WAF and what is WAF. So, basically WAF it means Web Application Firewall Policy and it protects our web app from security attacks. So, we will understand WAF in detail. Then, we will understand how to link this web policy to application gateway. And finally, we will create Azure application gateway, which will protect our web app from common security attacks. For example, SQL injection and cross-site scripting. And we will see a demo of it. So, basically, we will create a simple web app and we will host it in app service. Then we will see that this web app which is hosted in app service it is not protected from these common security attacks. Then we will create a web policy. Then we will create Azure application gateway and we will attach that web policy to this application gateway. And finally we will access this web app through application gateway. And now we will verify that our web app is protected from these common security attacks. So first let's discuss what is WAF and why we are WAF. So guys if you see this diagram we have this VNet then subnet and within this subnet we have application gateway and then we have another VNet then subnet and then in this subnet we have this VM and we have hosted a web app in this VM. We have another web app which is hosted in this app service. So basically what we are trying to say is let's say if someone from public internet let's say this is public internet tries to access our web app he should not access this web app directly that is he should not access it directly something like this. So this should not be allowed. So ideally we should have an application gateway in between. So the user should access our web app through application gateway something like this and then either this web app or this web app. But then the question is how exactly application gateway helps us. So this application gateway it will protect us from common security attacks and using web that is web application firewall. So basically we can create this web policy and we can attach it to this application gateway so something like this so any request it will first come to application gateway then this web policy it will check whether the request is valid if it is a malicious request it will be blocked if it is a valid request then it will be allowed to go forward great but then what exactly is this web right See again, we applied this web policy to this gateway. So this web, it is a policy and basically it contains security rules. And these security rules, they decide whether the request to our web app, it should be allowed or it should be blocked. And then these security rules, they can be managed that is managed by Azure, which so you can consider these are default rules. So for example, the rule to prevent cross-site scripting attack, SQL injection, HTTP protocol violation and a lot more. Or the security rules, they can be custom. That means we can create our own security rules. And basically in these custom rules, we can provide the two requirements. We can apply rate limit. So for example, we can block request from a particular IP address or from particular geolocation or we can block request from certain IP addresses. But guys, generally for a typical web app, these managed rules, they are enough. And mostly we may not need to create our own custom rules. Okay. Then in this web policy, again, this is web policy. We can configure additional settings as well. So for example, a setting like what can be max size for a web request or let's say a file is uploaded. What can be the max size of file which can be uploaded? 
and now guys you can imagine basically web that is web policy provides us everything which will protect our web app from common security attacks and guys finally when we create web that is web policy we can specify the mode and it can be either prevention mode or detection mode so basically in prevention mode that means if a request is malicious request it will be simply prevented and it will not be allowed but when the mode is detection mode if the request is malicious request it will still be allowed but then the details of that request it they will be logged okay so guys let's imagine we have created web policy and then assigning this web policy to this application gateway is really simple and straightforward so basically when we are creating application gateway at that time itself we can select and assign the web policy so guys now i think we have enough knowledge about azure web gateway and now let's see it in action so guys we are in azure portal and let's open our app service and we are under overview and now let's click on browse so guys this is a simple web app and let's say we are trying to add a new employee so of course there is no backend logic in this app but i just want you to see that of course we can provide employee name and department over here but we can provide the malicious values as well so for example let's say if i say harshal and department let's say hr so of course these are genuine values and those will be accepted yes but in addition let's say i provide this script and you see it is a javascript script okay so that so this is definitely a malicious request and if i say create even that is accepted and ideally such request should be blocked if i provide this type of value that is delete star from tbl employees right so again this is sql injection attack and if i say create even that is accepted so our web app does not have protection against these common security attacks and for this of course let's create web policy then let's create azure application gateway and then let's see how how azure application gateway protects our web app so guys we are back in azure portal and now let's create this web application firewall policy that is web policy let's say create and we need to assign this policy to application gateway so let's select it then we need to select the resource group so i will say create new and i will say okay now let's give name to this web policy so i will say our first web policy let's go down i will keep location as australia central and guys this is important policy mode so as of now let's select this option that is prevention now next and guys can you see this managed rules so basically these are the default rules and actually these rules they protect our web app so let's keep it as it is let's say next now guys these are the policy settings and for example you can see enforce maximum request body limit then enforce maximum file upload size limit right so again let's keep it default let's say next then custom rules so again we can add our custom rule so as of now we are not going to add any custom rule let's say next 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 and here let's say create and guys our web policy has been created now let's go to the other tab and now here let's create our application gateway home let's say application gateways let's say create let's select resource group so i will create new one i'll say okay let's give name to our application gateway so i will say our web application gateway let's keep region australia central and now guys this is important that is tier and from here let's select web that is web v2 enable auto scaling let's say no instance count as of now let's say 1 let's go down and guys this is important that is web policy 
and obviously we should select the web policy which we just created yes we can see it so let's select it and guys this application gateway it will be present in vnet and subnet right so let's create vnet and subnet and i will say okay now next front ends so yes we need to create new public ip address i will say add new so i will say public ip for gateway let's say okay now next backends and now of course the backend it will be our app service that is this web app so i will say add a backend pool and from this target type i will select app services and let's select our app service let's say add now next configuration here let's add a routing rule and then let's give priority so i will say 200 now let's give name to this listener gateway listener let's keep protocol as http and now let's click on this backend targets and here from this drop down let's select the backend pool for app service which we just created and obviously we don't have backend settings so let's add new now protocol i will select https and here i will select yes let's go down and here override with new hostname i will say yes and here i will say peak hostname from backend target and here let's say add again add now let's say next and finally review plus create and here i will say create and guys you can see our application gateway has been created so let's say go to resource and let's open our application gateway so guys we are under overview and this is the public ip address of this gateway so let's actually copy it and let's try to run our web app using this public ip that is public ip of this application gateway so let's copy it let's open new tab and here i will say http colon slash slash and let's say enter and yes we are able to access this web app through public ip of application gateway that is we are able to access it through application gateway now let's actually see if it protects us from security attacks so here i will provide malicious script so you can see it is a javascript script and here also i will provide a script and now let's say create and see it has blocked this request and it says 403 forbidden let's actually see if it works for valid values so here employee name i will say harshal and let's say department is hr so both are valid values let's say create and yes it worked see it worked now let's see if it protects us from sql injection attack so here instead of harshal i will say delete star from tbl employees and let's say create and again you see it says 403 so again the request is blocked so that's it guys this is how we can configure waf and waf gateway